Iraq is fighting a two-pronged battle to increase power supply. The country is trying to resolve power shortages, but U.S. sanctions mean it must do so without the help from neighboring Iran. At 3,000 megawatts, the Bismaya plant south of Baghdad is Iraq's biggest. It's racing to add capacity ahead of the summer heat when demand soars and frequent power cuts fuel public anger. Construction has been delayed by the coronavirus pandemic, just the latest in a series of crises that have complicated the government's efforts. The challenge was, uh, that hit us was the um, thirst was the protests in, in October last year, in 2019. And then the, that the fact that the, the government was forced to resign, uh, that um, made us lose a lot of executive authority to move on continuing and, and implementing or signing uh, the necessary contracts. Iraq is also under increasing pressure from the U.S. to wean itself off of Iranian electricity and gas imports, which account for 25 percent of its power supply during peak times. On Sunday, the U.S. extended a sanctions waiver that has been in place since 2018, allowing Iraq to continue importing Iranian energy for another 30 days. But the shortening of the duration of waivers has angered Baghdad. The last uh, we would like to see is, 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 uh, is bullying or threatening. We need support instead. We need three to four years under normal circumstances with the sufficient fund and uh, uh, enough timeline and, and full executive authority to deliver the needful uh, and, and basically building up the capacity to achieve that energy independence. Iraq is the world's fourth largest oil producer, but its gas capture capacity remains limited. This power plant relies entirely on Iranian gas to generate electricity. If that gas can no longer be imported, it might need to use fuel instead, which is much more costly and less efficient. To avoid having to resort to domestic supplies of diesel, Iraq is working on developing its capacity to produce gas. But in the short term, analysts say it has few options to substitute Iranian gas imports. Thus far, Iraq, um, throughout all these negotiations that it had with, um, uh, with, with its neighbors and everybody, um, has not been offered a, a price for gas or a mechanism for getting gas as fast as possible uh, at a price that is lower than Iran. Increasing supply will only solve part of Iraq's electricity problems. Proposals to remove electricity subsidies so as to cover production costs and regulate demand have faced political opposition. And over half of supply is lost through poor distribution and theft. With or without Iranian energy, power cuts are likely to remain a frequent reality for many Iraqis. Simona Fultin, Al Jazeera, Baghdad.